So, Jupiter told you her side of the story last time, huh? I heard everything, and I'm quite proud of her. I thought she would make some stupid shit up. Glad she proved me wrong. Anyways, let me tell you my version of the story. Imagine this, 4.3 billion years ago, I had a simple life without rings. Hard to believe, right? Nowadays, when the Earthlings think of me, they picture those famous rings. But there's more to me than that. Like the polar hexagon, my unique oval shape, or the great white spot. But you never seen anyone talk about those features, right? <laughs> huh? Oh, oh yeah, the fifth gas chant. She formed between me and Neptune. Yes, Neptune used to be the second last planet in the solar system, with Uranus being last. One day, we met each other. We chatted for a long time, and we both realized we had a lot in common. Even though her orbit was a bit wild, partly due to me, and she knew that, we were both in love. Together, we came up with a plan to stop Jupiter from moving into and destroying the inner solar system. My idea was to give the fifth gas giant a push with my gravity, sending her towards Jupiter. We hoped our combined gravity with her closer to Jupiter would pull Jupiter back outwards. But things didn't go exactly as planned. My gravity might have pushed the fifth gas giant inward at first, making her cross Jupiter's orbit and move into the inner solar system. The plan kind of worked until Jupiter decided she had enough of the fifth gas giant. With a strong push, she sent the fifth gas giant out of the solar system, never to be seen again. I miss her a lot, and I still hope we'll meet again someday. And that is my story. I can see you're curious to know more. What's next on your list, Neptune? Don't waste your time on him. It's not like he knows anything about this. <laughs>